Florida. This is called the Torino Parkway area. For you guys out there that wanted to know what it looks like. So I'm going to give you like a 10 minute tour of around the Torino Parkway area so you get a pretty good idea of what it looks like. In the meantime, enjoy a little bit of salsa music along for the ride. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Si una mujer te quiere, serás un hombre feliz. Pero si ninguna mujer te quiere, para qué vivir? Para qué vivir? Let's go up Colabro Avenue a little bit. We're gonna go right to Colabro to Kunis. We'll be making a left turn on Kunis. We're doing a little tour of the neighborhood. Oh yeah.
Chicago is making a right turn into Windy Pines Lane. Beautiful area. You'll love it here. So come on down to Port St. Lucie.
Wendy Pines, which is about uh, about a quarter of a mile from my house. It's a beautiful place. The people that uh, live there maintain it, and they keep it looking beautiful. We're going to go all the way down. We're going to be making a left turn to, at the end of Volusia, and we're going to be going to Torino, Northwest Torino Parkway. And we're going to go the entire circle of Torino Parkway, and then you'll know where they call it, Torino, the area. Of course, I'm losing. Yeah. Parkway. So we'll be making a right move from West Torino Parkway to East Torino Parkway. And we're just passing Winter Lakes Estates. Another beautiful development that you guys uh, up north thinking of relocating down here to Fort St. Lousy, you can come to. On my left here is the Scotts of Wall. This place kind of, you know, after the bad economy, it didn't do very well. You know, we're going to make a left turn in there, and I'll give you a little tour. You know, it's a beautiful place, but it really didn't take off. People started losing money, investors were losing money, and uh, never got to uh, be completely developed. But uh, it seems like things are picking up, and uh, you never know. Another place you can check out for some nice properties out here in Fort St. Lucie. Now 
As you can see, it's dated, so we're going to make a use of it. But it is a nice place. I know a couple of people living in uh, this development. They love it, you know. I remember when the homes in, in, in this Escasa Falls were upwards of 500 plus. <laughs> That. We'll be coming up to the back of my house. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try to go, I'll try to slow down a little bit when I pass it. And uh, it's right here, the back of my home. There it is. That's the back of my house. Right over there, the one with the wall, the block wall. Yeah. See that? That was a big job. You know, I, 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 I come here and I say, wow, when I first moved here, this was vacant land. I can't believe it. I had to be crazy to come to Florida and build this place. Anyway, but that's the back of the wall. Let's go back. Hey, I know you wanted to see, uh, you wanted to see the Mets Stadium. Well, that's my house there. So let me show you how far I am to uh, the Met Stadium. So time it. You know, the New York Mets. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they to change the name to something else. You know what I mean? But I mean, you know. Well, I don't know, you know, they just can't seem to get it together. But uh, it's nice living very close to uh, the training camps. We get to see all sorts of fireworks right from my backyard in the evenings, you know. We're coming up to California. California Boulevard. We'll be making a left turn. And the Met Stadium is right around the block. Right off of Torino Parkway. And behind my home. So, you know, I bump into all the Mets players every once in a while. Yeah, the young guys try to make it up, you know, from the minor leagues up to the major leagues. Now, you see these little chicky there uh, you see on my right? That's what you see a lot down here in Florida, so you better get down here. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh mama. <laughs> Looking good, man. Okay, you still timing it? Let's time it. So now we're coming to Peacock, North 
Southwest Peacock Boulevard. We're going to be making a right. And the Met Stadium, you'll see it on your left-hand side. But I'll uh, turn around so you can get a really good view of it. It's a beautiful place. If you like hot dogs and baseball, Port St. Lousy is the place to be. Uh, yeah. resort that we just passed on my right, that resort that we just passed on my uh, my right, that's for RVs. The snowbirds come and they park their half a billion dollar RVs there, you know, and they camp out. When it's winters up north, this is where they come. Not just New Yorkers and uh, people like that, but people from Canada, a lot of Canadians come in, in that resort. It's a beautiful place. On my left, you'll be coming across Met Stadium. That's the beautiful Met Stadium. I'm going to try to make a turn on the top so you can get a better view. So hang him tight. So how far is that from my house? About three minutes? Three minutes and I'm in the stands eating hot dogs. <laughs> Florida. It's beautiful. Come on down. There it's the Met Stadium. Let me go around. I think they're having a game today or something. The place is awfully packed. I'm going to be making a U-turn, so hopefully you can see it. Let me just cut across the double lines. Break the law. That's the Met Stadium right there, folks. And it looks like they're having an event tonight. Yeah. Or today. Yeah. Play ball. That's how far it is from my home. That far at all. About three, four minutes. Let me uh, pull in this park lot so you can get a better view, because I know you're a big baseball fan. So I'll pull into this little warehouse here, and we'll turn around and you get a nice view of the Met Stadium. Too bad I'm a Yankee fan, but I know you're a Met fan, so, so there it is. That's the Met training camp. Maybe someday your kid will grow up and play in that stadium or practice there before he makes it to the majors. A lot of traffic today. Okay, we're going to be heading back because uh, I don't want to make this video too long. Because you might just uh, you just might pack your bags and wind up on my front steps tomorrow morning, and I'm not looking forward to that. No, 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 no. You come down here, you get your own place. I got too many wives and mistresses living with me already. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the house. Hope you enjoyed the little tour of Torino Parkway. There's a lot here. There's a lot of areas that I didn't show you on this video, but I'm sure if you need to know anything else, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to. Uh, to accommodate if I have the time, you know. But uh, it is a beautiful place. It's nice and clean. It smells good, you know. And the people are great people here, just like up north, you know. <laughs> you know, some don't smile at all, and some just smile a little too much. And I think the ones that smile too much is because they know they're down here, you know, away from that snow and that bad weather, you know. On the next video, uh, you wanted to see golf courses and all that. I'll uh, I'll do that next week sometime when I got more more uh, when I have more of an opportunity. But for today, satisfy yourself with the Torino Parkway area of Port St. Lucie, Florida. Area code three four nine eight six. Beautiful area. Believe me, you'll love it down here. You'll just love it.
five minutes, man. Back up to Torino Parkway East. We'll be making a left turn and going home. We're about two minutes from the house. Cheeseboro Terrace and there's Culebra. I, I would normally be making uh, a left turn here, but I'll give you a little uh, a little tour of, of my neighborhood. It'll take about a minute because it's really not that big. And uh, like I said, it's a nice area, Torino Parkway. You know, it's uh, mainly all the houses here for the most part are not even, you know, uh, eight, nine, ten years old at the oldest. And uh, it, I'm sure when things pick up, so uh, so will Torino Parkway, you know. It is a very clean area. And like I said earlier, the people in the area are beautiful. I've been here going on ten years. It'll be ten years come this June or this July. And it's a beautiful neighborhood. I should run for mayor of Torino Parkway. Yeah, can you imagine Vince, the mayor of Torino Parkway? There'll be an F word 
behind every other sentence, you know? But it, it is a beautiful place, you know? So here's Carefree, we'll go down Carefree. This is the area that I walk in the mornings, you know? Normally my morning walk is about four and a half to five miles and I'm normally dead, you know? But uh, like I said, it really is a beautiful area. See, somebody else is moving in. See, they know the deal. <laughs> phone truck is there hooking up the phone and they're moving in already. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a few vacant lots in the area. Believe it or not, these lots at one time, I paid $7,000 for my lot. Okay? And, uh, and they went up uh, around 2004, 2003. You couldn't touch a lot here for less than $135,000. Well, so ranging between $90,000 and $135,000. That's how high the property values went here. And uh, now you can pick up a decent lot anywhere between fifteen and thirty thousand. Not bad. But I still got a good deal at seven thousand dollars, I think. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful homes though. Beautiful homes. making a left on Cowrie, and then a right on Culebra, and I'll be home in about uh, 500 feet. So yeah. So I uh, hope the video helped you out and gave you a nice little insight as to what Dorino living is all about, as far as, you know, bedroom community type of, if you want to come here and sleep. But in the outskirts, there's a lot to do. It's Florida, man. You know, what, you're 40 minutes away from the airport, five minutes away from the stadium, parks, Sexy women, sexy guys, and the people don't come out of the houses. They all stay in because it's too damn hot. Well, I'm home. So let's go around the circle. And these are the houses across the street. These are the houses that I look at across the street for my home. And you'll see my home in a minute as soon as I go around the circle. And there is my home that I built from scratch so yeah it's been a it's been a working process or process or progress but uh, I like it here getting used to it hope you enjoy the tour it's time for me to go inside have a little lunch and jump in the pool baby Florida living nothing like Florida for a little bit of salsa. Yeah. <laughs>